GNAC top plays begins in Nampa, where St. Martin's and Northwest Nazarene engaged in a high-scoring battle. The Saints trailed 3-2 in the 71st minute when Brian Lacona buries this long free kick for the equalizer. The match was tied at 4-4 at the end of regulation and with the double overtime before Jason Fairhurst tallied the golden goal on this goalkeeper rush. Saints over Nighthawks 5-4. Johan Espinoza opened scoring for Western Washington in the 29th minute against Montana State Billings, glancing his corner kick off the goalkeeper for the goal. It was 1-0 until the 65th minute. This time Espinoza crosses into the box for Alex Whiting. One shot deflected, the second goes in for his first goal of the year. To the 85th, and Gilbert De La Luz makes it look easy with this light touch to the far corner. Vikings 3-1 winners over the Yellow Jackets. Simon Fraser hosting nationally ranked Seattle Pacific, and it took just one touch from Ali Zohar to win it. The header off the free kick in the 21st minute held up as SFU nets the 1-0 shutout over the Falcons. Two nights earlier, Simon Fraser goalkeeper Aiden Bain demonstrated his GNAC Player of the Week winning skills. 35th minute. As MSUB breaks down the defense, they can't break down Bain as he dives left for the stop. Late in the first half, he deflects the one-on-one -on -one chance to preserve the 1-0 lead. To the 80th, the dangerous corner kick is parried over the top of the crossbar. Bain with nine saves to preserve the shutout. We stayed with the goalkeeper theme as Montana State Billings women hosted nationally ranked Seattle Pacific. Check out this barrage of saves by the Yellow Jackets' Claire Keenan, tearing away a solid scoring chance from the Falcons. Keenan made six saves on the day, and the Yellow Jackets relied on Liberty Palmer on offense. She pulls the SPU keeper off the line for her fourth goal of the season in the 25th. MSUB plays to the hard-fought 1-1 tie. Western Washington needed just one goal to secure its victory over St. Martin's. In the 61st minute, a crossing pass into the box from Diana Diaz was served just right to Jenna Kilman, heading in the game winner. Vikings over Saints 1-0. Two days later, it was Tara Zemer getting the game winner against Simon Fraser. She connects on the give-and-go from Sophie Beardencroft for her fifth goal of the year. Vikings go on to a 2-0 victory over their cross-border rivals. Western Oregon and St. Martins were tied 0-0 until the two teams scored three goals in a 68-second time span. In the 88th minute, the Bulls take advantage of the breakaway at midfield, and the crossing pass to Jenna Ephraimson is on target. Just 26 seconds later, Alyssa Talkington with the block on the free kick and the goal. Wolves take the explosive 2-1 win over the Saints. Finally, it was Western Washington Volleyball hosting Montana State Billings in the first half of the GNAC season. Kevin Woodruff with a great dig. Gunterman on the attack, and that one is dug out by Mon Western, tapped over by Halliborn, and good defense by Montana State to keep that alive. And Gunterman puts it away. Del Holland, a true freshman, but Malia Aliaga is only a sophomore. Yeah. By Funk on the attack, and that one blocked. What a great dig, and a great job by Gunterman. Vikings up 24 to 11. On the attack, Biska puts it through, and the Vikings. Sean Church and Ben Bagley on the call as the Vikings down the Yellow Jackets in three. That's it for GNAC Top Plays. I'm Blake Tim. We'll see you next time.